Hey Jammers, I'm Gene and welcome to TribeMusicStudio.com. Today I'm going to talk about chords in the key of D major. Uh, Alright, so if you look on the staff, the five horizontal lines in sheet music, uh, the staff you will find two sharp symbols and that represents the key of D, it also represents the key of B minor. But uh, it's relative minor because they're relative to each other. So anyway, uh, there's 30 keys all together. There's 15 major, 15 minor. We're going to take one of them today again. It's the key of D. Uh, there's seven chords in each key. However, I'm going to say there's nine. Uh, I'm saying there's nine. Uh, because what I'm going to do is add two what we're going to call relative majors to each key. Uh, I see uh, these relative majors in songs from rock to country to blues. Uh, they're, into, they're not always in every song, but they're in a lot of them. So I'm going to add them because uh, maybe they can help you if you're trying to learn a song or searching, what is this chord? And, and oh, it's a tricky one. It's one of those relative majors. Um, so, the, these chords are, are named after the notes that are in the major scale, at least for seven anyway. And so, you've got to go to the major scale of whatever key uh, if you're trying to find these chords. But all of this can be found on our website. I'm going to show you the paper in a bit. And uh, you can go to our website, trymusicstudio.com, and, and you'll see all this there. But you've got to go to the major scale, so we're going to go to the D major scale, the Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Uh, those uh, uh, eight notes, if uh, we add value to them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one again, because there are two Ds right there, the octaves. And uh, these these notes are, are going to be the building blocks that will make these chords, which is another lesson, uh, but we can look at them as like they're going to make the chords, they're like the blocks that go to build the house, the house of D in this case. Uh, the notes in the D major scale are D, E, F sharp, G, A, D, C sharp, and D again like before. Um, and so we're going to turn uh, those notes into chords. We can add scale degree as well, like I said earlier. Instead of Do, Re, Mi, we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it, the chords will be Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, and, well, there's the major again, the first one. Uh, which gives us the chords of D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, C sharp diminished. I think that's so cool because when you listen to that, you can hear the major scale, like the Do, Re, Mi. Uh, so here those chords are. D, G, A. Now this third one could be, uh, a lot of people say it should be a dominant chord, which means it should be an A7. Yes, okay, but I'm giving three majors and three minors. That's how I like to show this, because here's B minor, E minor. Some people say, well, that should be F sharp 7. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm giving it as 
again, majors and minors, because every ma major chord has a relative minor, and every relative minor has, or every minor has a relative major. And so I'm given the marriage of chords here. Uh, and then there's uh, our D flat diminished, uh, or excuse me, that's, that should be a C sharp. Oops. That should be a C sharp diminished. Well, C sharp and D flat are the same. It's just named wrong in this paper. Uh, and then the two relative majors, F and C. Now these chords, when you play the chords uh, in, in the key here, they do not literally need to be played at this, ex uh, these exact shapes or positions or voicings on the neck. You can choose to play your D uh, down low or, or in a D form or D A form or D E form or wherever. Uh, same thing with the G, the other chords. Uh, it all depends on the song. Some of them might be played higher in some songs, some lower in others. Uh, it, it, this is just one example of where they, those chords can be played for this key. So you get uh, other voicings and a voicing sound, because you can hear the sounds different than this. Voice is different. Those are all Ds. Now, those two relative majors, the F and um, the C, how we find those, and this works in every key, is you uh, go to the key center. Well, the key center in this case is D, because we're in the key of D. If we're in the key of A, the key center would be A. Uh, if you're in the key of B flat, key center would be B flat. So you always go to the key center. In this case, is D right here it is. Now we are going to go up three. This is zero because we didn't move yet. We didn't take any steps. This is zero, one, two, three, which brings us to an F. 0, 1, 2, 3, there's F. And we go back to the key center, D, and go down. Remember, this is up, that's down. Down 2. And this is still 0 because you didn't move yet, you didn't take a step yet. 1, 2. Well, there's a C. There's a D, 1, 2. So how you find your uh, two relative majors is always 3 up and 2 down from the key center. Very easy and kind of fun too. Now, to end this uh, lesson, there's also, well, I'd like to talk about alternate, uh, alternate chords. And so in other words, let's say you have yourself some sheet music and you're looking at it and it happens to be in the key of D and, uh, and by the way, back to that D flat uh, diminished, uh, which should be a C sharp. It's gonna be at the same fret, the eighth fret. All the same. Just name different types all. Thank you. Back to the alternate chords. Uh, so you might look in this sheet music and you, and you see that, wow, there's three different D's in the song. Uh, not D sharp or D flat, just some kind of D, like D uh, major, D minor, maybe a, a D6. Uh, and then maybe there's uh, four or five different G's. No G sharp or G flat, G, G of some kind. Uh, G7, G uh, suspended, uh, G this or that. And same thing with the A, same thing here. Might instead of uh, the song might have a B major instead of a B minor. Or both. Or maybe a B7 or suspended. And, and same here. Same, same with all of these chords. Uh, and so what's going on there uh, is it, it, because. Those chords there are kind of like the nucleus, the meat and potatoes of what the key is really all about. But we can expand on them. Um, uh, and so I might have a, uh, say an A, and if I move this note up one fret, well I have an A suspended four. If I move it down one fret, I have an A, I'm the normal way. If I move it down, uh, uh, go, oh, I'm sorry, I'm back to the A, and if I go down one fret, I have an A minor from that note. If I go down two frets, it's an A suspended two. Maybe if I make the A and uh, lift this one off, I will have now an A7. If I uh, put one here, I have A major seven. Uh, the, the point is, is we're moving notes around within that A, and changing its sound. When we change its sound, we're going to change its name. But 
uh, A is in the key of D, so we could have all those different A's that are within that song. A lot of times it's done with, with many songs. You might find this in sheet music. So if you think, well, wait a minute, the, it, it says the key of D uh, has uh, an A in it. Why is there an A7 in here? Well, because A is in the key, and we can do a lot of things with that A, etc. Okay, so that's the key of D. I hope this helps you. It's very good to know your keys. If you're going to learn songs off of a CD or a radio or, or if you're writing your own music, you want to stay in key. So it's good to have this knowledge of, of your keys and the chords that are in them and how and where you can play them and what you can all do with them. Um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our website. Check it out, triadmusicstudio.com. You can also get there by going to guitarlessonsfastfunandeasy.com. Thanks again. Jam on!